Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Chromebook Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about how to pick the best Chromebook for kids returning to school. So recently I noticed that uh, lots of kids are leaving comments on my Chromebook videos. I have uh, lots of Chromebook uh, videos on this channel. So kids are you know, leaving comments for uh, thanking for providing uh, good tips and uh, you know, clarifying some of the things. So I decided to make this video uh, because uh, you know this is going to be very helpful for kids or parents uh, where the kids are uh, going back to school and they are looking to uh, get a new Chromebook. So I'm going to just add uh, a short clip of my little friend Lucky at the end of this video because I know that kids uh, and parents uh, they like dog. So this is just a, a few uh, you know since from. Uh, the park uh, where uh, you know the dog was really happy uh, just as a bonus but this is going to be at the end of the video so watch till the end then you'll see uh, you know the clip of uh, my little friend lucky at the end of this video so this video is going to be in two parts uh, in the first part i'll talk about you know why um, chromebooks are perfect fit for kids and in the second part I'll talk about why, uh, you know, what to look for when you're looking for, to buy a Chromebook for your kids. So as usual, I have uh, my index cards and I'll just, you know, go over them uh, one by one. So why Chromebook uh, for kids? So the first point I have is, is the very cheap, uh, you know, kids are, when you're buying something for kids, you know, there are chances that, uh, you know, you're going to be, uh, the, uh, this is going to get lost or this is going to get damaged. Uh, so if you have a Chromebook and if uh, your kid uh, loses the Chromebook, uh, you don't have to worry about too much because, you know, Chromebooks are cheap. Uh, you can spend like, you know, two to three hundred dollars and you can find a very nice Chromebook. So you don't need to worry about like, you know, losing a one thousand dollar or two thousand dollars laptop like Windows laptops. So for that reason, you know, Chromebooks are perfect fit for kids because, you know, if you lose, then you lose only uh, a couple of hundred dollars or three hundred dollars. So it's not a big deal. Uh, and then another thing is uh, that you know if you lose uh, uh, if your kids uh, lose the Chromebook and uh, you're not going to actually lose that data or the stuff inside the Chromebook because everything is being uh, uh, saved on the cloud. So if you're losing the computer, Sam, then you can actually you're not losing actually anything because you can retrieve everything when you buy another Chromebook because everything is saved, uh, you know, not on the hard drive, but on the Google Cloud. So that's a very good thing for kids. Uh, number two, what I'm going to be talking about is the security. So Chromebooks are very secure uh, due to the fact that, you know, you don't have to worry about antivirus, you don't have to worry about firewall. Uh, Google takes care of everything and that, for that reason, you know, it, works perfectly for kids uh, because you know uh, kids uh, when you're giving something to kids you don't need to worry about always that you know what they're doing or what they're installing or what antivirus you know is there if it's updated or what you need to do so you can forget about all those because by default google looks after all these things in chromebooks and then you don't have to like you know even install any antivirus or firewall so for that reason, Chromebook is a very good for kids because you know you can just uh, forget about those things, and kids can uh, use uh, Chromebook uh, whenever they want, uh, any way they want. So there's no need to worry about that. Another uh, important part of Chromebook is you don't need to maintain anything, uh, so there's no maintenance. Uh, all maintenance and everything is done by Google. So you know uh, this is kind of related to. Uh, security and maintenance so you don't have to like you know look uh, you don't have to update anything and all the updates for the operating system is done by google in the background so there's no need to worry about anything so that's another feature that you know chromebooks uh, are so common or so uh, popular with the kids these days and then uh, number four is there like you know school specific chromebooks uh, so what happens that you know a school uh, can maintain or a school can have uh, uh, tweak uh, the operating system and uh, they can have uh, like you know a school specific Chromebook where uh, they manage the Chromebook operating system so kids can have a specific versions of Chromebooks and or specific programs or stuff on their Chromebook which the school uh, decides or choose uh, what to have uh, so this is getting actually very popular uh, lately a lot of the schools are you know getting Chromebooks uh, based on their needs and school specific Chromebooks 
because it's very in inexpensive when you compare uh, with the Windows because you know schools they don't have to spend a lot of money on Chromebooks so you can have like you know a Google uh, apps for education suites uh, which I'm going to give you a link in the description box below and then you're gonna have the Google Play for uh, education and these are all part of you know school managed Chromebooks or even not even if they're not the school managed they can have like you know also you can have them in the Chromebooks uh, uh, so I have uh, some of the like you know links here so for example this is like in you know, a school uh, apps for educational sites and here when you have Chromebook you can have all sorts of like you know apps for kids uh, who are which you know they can uh, maintain or they can use like you know Google Docs and the uh, uh, word processing so word software or Excel software based on Chromebook so these are all you know come uh, come in handy when you have uh, school maintenance Chromebook and then also there's like you know Google Play uh, or Google Apps for specifically designed to learn for uh, Chromebooks uh, which uh, you know you can get lots of like you know stories dictionary and then uh, games which to keep uh, keep uh, kids active and then like you know uh, to make them help to learn so these all you can have with a Chromebook so that's another good feature and then also uh, Chromebook uh, works uh, offline so uh, a lot of us think that you know Chromebook doesn't work uh, online uh, I mean uh, Chromebook cannot work offline you have to have uh, online to uh, use Chromebook but that's not true you can do everything uh, these days on Chromebooks uh, when you're offline you can uh, you know uh, read write uh, uh, watch everything uh, basically can be done online uh, so that's another reason that you know you can have Chromebooks and give your uh, kids and uh, you don't have to worry about you know having the internet all the time so these are the basic things you know what uh, these are the basic things uh, when why schools are picking Chromebooks or why you know Chromebooks are so good for uh, kids now I'm going to just talk about a few things about uh, what to look for when you are getting a Chromebook for uh, for the kids uh, so these are, are the just basic things and I'm not going to actually recommend any specific Chromebooks or any brand because on this channel I do not provide any affiliated links to make money of anyone so you can click the link and I can make money when you're buying something I don't believe in that uh, model uh, for that reason there's no specific links or specific names of the Chromebooks instead I'm going to just give you some basic uh, you know things you need to know so the first thing uh, whenever you're buying a Chromebook uh, look for the RAM uh, which is the random access memory and uh, that makes the Chromebook going faster or slower although uh, two RAM uh, or two gig of RAM you know Chromebook can work uh, good for kids but my recommendation would be uh, not to go below 4 gig so that way like you know when kids are like you know doing anything then this is not slow it's it has a very like you know reasonable uh, speed and very smooth like you know uh, transition from app to app uh, so just try to stay at 4 gig RAM uh, try not to go to 2 gig RAM because lots of uh, Chromebooks out there they have uh, you know 2 gig RAM so my recommendation uh, recommendation would be try to get something uh, above 4 gigs or 4 gigs and then in terms of storage although Chromebook doesn't really need any storage because everything is uh, in the cloud but still you need some storage because uh, whenever you're like you know installing uh, something from the Google Play or like you know you're keeping something on the local hard drive then if you have any storage below 32 gig uh, it's gonna cause problem one day uh, let's say down the road after like you know one two years if you have uh, 16 gig storage because you're not going to be able to install any apps or anything later on uh, because of the storage shortage so my recommendation would be you know get to try to get like you know storage uh, at least 32 gig or above so that way you don't have to worry about down the road uh, many years to come uh, that you know you're gonna uh, run out of your storage on your Chromebook and then um, in terms of a screen uh, my recommendation would be to get a touch screen because you know kids uh, like a touch screen and uh, it's going to be very interactive when you have touch screen and in terms of a screen size uh, you know try to stay within uh, 12 to 13.3 inch range 
this is due to the fact that if you go too small or too large this is not going to be convenient for kids to carry around or put it in the backpack so my choice is uh, between these two uh, 12 to 12.3 inches because that's the perfect size of a chromebook due to its portability and like you know the convenience for example the chromebook you're looking at this is 12.5 inch uh, usually i stay within a 12 to 13.3 inch and that's the best uh, you know screen or size you have when you're using a chromebook uh, and you can take anywhere you can travel uh, you can take to school you know you can take to the camping so it's a very uh, good combination of uh, portability and uh, viewing experience so those are my basic uh, recommendations uh, when you get a Chromebook. So that's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And on this channel, I have lots of other Chromebook tips and tricks videos. And you can see all of them by going to the Chromebook uh, playlist. Uh, all the videos are going to be under that. And now, uh, time, now is the time for the video i promised you before where uh, my little friend lucky is playing at the park and hopefully you'll enjoy that so thank you for watching this video forget about liking this channel forget about liking this video i'll see you shortly yeah, that big dog, lucky, lucky.